Hello everyone, it's Thanos. Uh, or perhaps it's a me, Thanos, would be more appropriate because today I'm going to be playing some Super Mario Maker 2. Just because I felt like playing something again, actually. So, the reason that I suddenly felt like playing Super Mario Maker 2 is actually because I saw another streamer, Dumb Dog on Twitch, has been running a little event for the past few weeks called the Checkpoint League, and he's made a bunch of maps which look very interesting. Um, and yeah, basically watching the people playing it made me want to play it as well, so I thought I'd have a go. The difference is that the competitors actually don't get to see the courses that they're running. They have to basically learn them on the fly. I have the advantage that I got to see the clear run and I also got to watch the competitors flail repeatedly at the courses over the course of an hour. It's pretty interesting. Um, I highly recommend that if you like watching Mario Maker, you should check it out. Um, I'll leave a link to his channel in my description, but these streamers have many viewers, so I don't think they need my help. Nevertheless, credit where it's due, because I wouldn't want to feel like I'm just sort of trying to ride off his a uh, piggyback of his success, it's just I happen to really like playing his levels, and since there's a bunch of new ones, um, I wanted to give them a go. They haven't been played in order, so what I'm thinking I'll do is I'll play through the levels in the order that the competitors have been doing it. Um, as I said, I have the advantage that I have seen the levels before, so it's just going to be whether I can actually manage to pull off the actual mechanical skill, which is another thing altogether. This one I also... you may have seen that I've already given this one a like. I did give it a little bit of a go before I decided that I felt like um, recording something, because it's been a while. Last thing that I was playing was uh, Astral Chain, and I actually really want to get back to that one. But that one feels like it has much more of a... much more of a time commitment. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Because I'm not likely to post this entire thing up um, in full, because I'm sure there's going to be plenty of dead air. Uh, give me a second. I'm going to put a timer so that you can see how long I've been sort of flailing as I uh, as I skip as the video skips past the dead uh, dead time. So. Oh, it would help if you could actually see it. This isn't very accurate, but, you know. If I'm gonna do this as a thing, I'll, uh... I'll work on doing it a bit... more... <laughs> with a bit more preparation next time. I'm not doing this for the sake of speedrunning or anything, I... just thought it would be interesting. My timing has something to be desired. I don't know whether the sound is going to make much of a difference as well. I'm... I should have no delay because... Uh, I'm looking at the screen that it's playing on. But the sound is a little bit delayed because the only way that I could get it to go through here and still be able to monitor myself properly as I'm playing the 
is I'm actually monitoring the video capture through OBS. Crap. That should have been a spin. That should have been a spin. So, uh... Yeah, I hope everyone's doing well with all of their coronavirus-related quarantining and isolation. I hope that no one's... I hope that everyone's healthy as far as possible. I think maybe I'm just doing too big of a jump. That should also just be a, a small... sort of a flatter... I don't know why I like playing these levels. These aren't like super hard. I've seen I've seen some of the absolutely crazy not so levels that some people have made and that some people play. But I've always kind of liked the design that uh that dumb dog has managed to hit with most of his most of his levels they always feel very satisfying takes me an exceedingly long time to get through them maybe playing this this late at night probably wasn't the best idea but i don't feel that uh i don't feel that mentally slow at the moment so there are some of those times where you just, you know, you can feel like just reactions are off and your thoughts are going through like cotton wool or molasses or something. You can just feel that sort of sluggishness and think, yeah, there are some games that are just not going to be right. And in that case, I'd probably be playing something like Animal Crossing or maybe just passively consuming content on YouTube or Twitch or something. I don't think I've managed to hold a coherent sequence of thoughts since I started this uh, video. It's really difficult. It's like every time I die, my brain like also restarts. Just as the game restarts, my brain also just... By the way, I also do appreciate the irony of wearing a Sanic t-shirt while playing a Mario game. You lose your concentration for just a second. I don't know how people can play stuff like this and speak at the same time. I mean, I've already complained about... Oof. It's so easy to just mind flood yourself for the next section because you've managed to surprise yourself that you succeeded in an earlier part. It's always the next thing. The next thing. If you get past an obstacle just by like the skin of your teeth, then you really should be thinking about the next obstacle. Because it's a quick way to get yourself killed if you spend just a moment even thinking, oh gee that was close. Because then you aren't thinking about the next obstacle, and that one's going to kill you. But anyway, I don't know. I like... I find myself playing, like, difficult platformers quite a bit. Or difficult-ish. You know, it's arguable which ones, but... You know, I played Celeste and Super Meat Boy and something else. Ah, yeah. Um, they bleed pixels, I think. Kind of platformy. Would you count it? 
I mean, that one's got like the combat elements as well, but there were some aspects of it that did feel like, you know, sort of frustrating. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got so confused there. And they're fun, they're satisfying to do. As long as the controls don't feel too janky. Then it's always a super satisfying thing when you manage to learn it and get through it and get the timing. No! No! Should that be a spin jump? Or do I just need to do a shorter normal jump? I'd like to get back there so that I could at least test it. done it. There you go. I feel extremely satisfied having done that. Hmm. Anyway, so how is everyone else in there? What's everyone else doing to handle Isolation. Actually, what level of isolation are you at? Here in Australia, we haven't hit complete lockdown, but who knows by the time that I post this, we might have. I think it's better just to do it. I mean, it's... I can understand why... You know, I can, I can understand the issues here. Either way, it's going to be incredibly devastating, right? It's already pretty bad economically. There are loads of people in loads of trouble. Loads of people without jobs or loads of people who are running businesses whose income has basically completely shriveled up. There are services that need to keep going, all that sort of stuff. Maybe I should stop. Ugh. That is interesting. Maybe I should try doing that section without holding run. Hmm, maybe not. Although maybe I don't need to be holding left so hard. Ah, yes. Yeah, I knew as soon as I jumped. I really would like to get back to Astral Chain, which, like in retrospect, was it probably better. Would have been better as a YouTube video, I think, because then I could have cut out a lot of the dead time. But because I started streaming, I sort of feel compelled to do so. I don't know. Either way, I'm going to go back to play it, because I actually still do want to finish it. It's just a much more difficult game to resume. It's going to be frustrating, because I've also got the that aspect of um, learning like the combat system and everything, and it's kind of frustrating to go back and remember that there was stuff that I could do but that my hands and brain no longer remember how to do. I don't think I can just hold left and run and just jump quick enough. I think I do need to actually... control my jumps a bit. There's just more ways to screw it up. It's obviously way easier to just say, just remember, hold right. Lol. In playing Mario Maker, I also don't have a story to try to remember where I'm up to. It says you play a new level, that's it. Remember how to run and jump and whatever other mechanics there are and uh, you're good. 
So I'm sort of holding left as I jump, and then in midair I'm flicking the stick. Sort of right and then left again real quick. Just to try to blade off some of the... That's a real pain. How long before this music drives me insane? Surprisingly a long while. The death sound, mate. <laughs> Might start getting old. But... If I could at least just get there consistently and quickly, that would be good. Because the big problem is just not having enough chances to not having enough chances to actually practice it. I am starting to notice the audio delay. I don't think it's making any difference to my jumps though. I don't use it for timing as far as I can tell, unless I'm doing it subconsciously. It's just more obvious for these spin jumps. I don't hear the... That wasn't a very good imitation of it. I wonder if it drifts, actually. Like, if I'd restarted OBS or maybe restarted my Switch or both. Would it be closer again? I don't think so. I think it's just that before... There weren't situations which made it as noticeable. Now how do you do this? This isn't boding well for me actually finishing this before I need to go to sleep. hitbox on munches and spikes. Saw blades are actually very generous as far as the hitbox is concerned I think. But see that's the problem when you aren't focusing on the exact next thing that you need to do it's very easy to mess up something that you should have been able to pass by now. That one hurts. I think I'm positioned such that my microphone arm covers me mostly. Probably been recording half of this with my face obscured, which defeats the purpose of having a face cam at all, really. No. I'm tempted to try turning the monitoring off then on again, but I'm afraid that it could end up screwing something up. Do I need a... I think committing to a spin jump would have worked. Yeah, of course, it's the same height as the starting one. So I've been doing this for 40... well, over 42 and a half minutes because I was late in starting that timer. Plus, I already spent maybe five minutes before, like a couple of days ago, before deciding to record this. But I think the thing that I like about all of these games, about Celeste, and Celeste was more sort of explicit in what it was doing, I guess. But I get the same feeling from playing these hard platformers, which are ultimately fair, 
just difficult. You know, if you spend enough time, you'll get it. Or, you know, if you spend enough time and are actively trying to, to learn it. Because as with anything, you could just throw a million attempts at it, and if you're too tired or you're too frustrated and not thinking about it, then, you know, yeah, you can definitely get worse, or you can definitely see almost no improvement. But if you're sort of actively trying... You know, analyzing whether, like, consciously or subconsciously... You know, there's things where your brain starts... You know, hopefully being able to calibrate these things. Improves the ability of your hand to push the button when it needs to pays more attention to the, like, timing and the the feel of the jumps and the whatever inputs it might be. And it's difficult and you fail again and again. Whoops. <laughs> and again. But each time you get a bit better. And then the parts that you initially thought, what the heck, how is this even humanly possible? You're breezing through. And instead there's some other part which you are now thinking, what the heck, how is this humanly possible? But the first part that you thought was impossible, you can now do. And that's satisfying. I am approaching an hour. The timer says 50 minutes, but, like, realistically, I've probably spent an hour. If you include the time off camera before this. I would like to finish this, though, but then I really should have started this earlier. Could you imagine having to do the clear check runs on this? So, if you don't know, to submit a Mario Maker level online, you need to be able to run and clear it without using checkpoints. I think you also need to clear it from each checkpoint, presumably to make sure that your game is completable in all of the possible cases that a player might encounter it. No, 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 no! I wish it told me how many times I died. You know, maybe I don't need to know how many times I died. What if this was like Meat Boy? And you just left your... blood just strewn across all of the obstacles that you'd hit in all of your past attempts. This map would look very different. I may have to admit defeat on this one. I guess I could pause the timer, or just remember where the timer is and resume later. Or tomorrow, rather. I mean, at the very least, hopefully my sound will... in here... will be correct again. Should I be spin jumping? Does that control my jump better? Because I didn't even think about it. I just assumed that I was meant to be doing regular jumps over the double munches. Can I do that? Maybe. Ooh, interesting. Ooh, I feel like that might be it. Why? I think that's only the second time I actually made it to that one. Yep, 
Yeah, that's nice because if I position myself right uh, correctly, I can actually jump and then just jam the analog stick all the way to the right. I don't need to worry about sort of half nudging it or anything to worry about my momentum. I just jump and sort of a moment later jam the stick and it gives me enough. God, I wish that I had... <laughs> I wish there was a checkpoint here. Yep. 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 Okay, because it's late, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try disabling the monitoring for a second and then re-enabling it. Yo, I think it's better. And it looks like I'm still recording as well. Yo, this, <laughs> this actually sounds kind of weird now, having the jump sounds come out when he jumps. I'd almost gotten used to hearing the jumps as he lands. Why? I knew it was a spin jump. Why did I normal jump? My mind is back at double munches now and conveyor belts. Not paying attention to the to these to these things. Some of these might actually just be legitimately impossible for my skill level. And my advancing age. I'm kidding. But only a little bit. Yep, basically I need to jump right away. This one I feel like I could complete. But I don't know how long it will take. It might take me three hours. But if you have thoughts on whether I should... trying to complete them regardless of how long it takes noting that I'll just try to edit down anyway or if you think that maybe I should just <sighs> give myself a certain amount of time Let me know in the comments. This is weird, my brain is starting to like alias <laughs> the, uh, the sores, they look so strange right now. I'm so sad. Well, that's one and a half hours. I'm gonna do another couple of attempts because I would really like to at least see the conveyor belts again just so I can try get a bit more extra like information into the to the fingers into the eyes give something give a bit extra for my brain to be able to more samples for my brain to try processing in the background I may actually split this video across two days the recording of that is I suppose if you include the editing and the making, it's going to take a bit longer than that as well. No. Alright, I'm going to pause this after this one. Or, you know, stop the video, put the switch to sleep, pause the uh, timer. Next one. Resume tomorrow. Hopefully I don't need to start from the beginning. I'll see which one seems like a... What's the better decision?
That's tough. That's real tough. Okay, that's it. I need to stop. I need to stop. And as promised, I am back. This is the next day. Pretty much right after I got back home from work. Um, everything seems to still be going, I think. My game didn't crash. I hope it's not going to crash as soon as I die or something. But I'm just going to resume right away. So... Uh, what the? No, it restarted my whole freaking timer. Alright, so I've <laughs> fixed the timer. Hopefully it's going to start this time, or resume, rather than resetting. Don't know whether... Well, I mean, this is all about me learning how to use the software as well, so... Considering that I didn't start properly at zero to begin with, uh, and that I took a huge break <laughs> in between the first part and this next part, I don't think it's going to matter too much. Let's just resume from there. This is what comes from trying to jump straight back into recording after getting back from work. Normally, my recording times are late at night after I've basically done, you know, everything. Any exercise, eating, showered, pretty much almost the last thing that I do. Well, not the last, because I need like time to wind down again after streaming. Which is usually just watching garbage or reading or something. Eee. Okay, how's this work? No! No! I was doing so well. I did not expect. Work's been kind of interesting. There are now much fewer people at work. Still a lot of people though, like surprisingly. Just because of the area that I'm working, but... Go some other areas and they'll be... Very quiet. Our area is still trying to work out the logistics of, um... Having people work from home and... Permissions and things like that, so... But, you know, separate from the working from home thing, you've also got people who are just getting sick, so... They've been advised to stay home, whether or not they've got the uh, COVID-19 or not. Although some have been sounding pretty sick, so potentially, if they don't have that, they've at least got some other flu. Which is very unfortunate. Dang it. That is also unfortunate. If I can make it to the next checkpoint before I need to again pause the timer and pause the game, that would be ideal. I hope all of you are having a good day. Or at least, you know, as best as you can be. This feels strange because it feels like it's another video, even though I know that I'm actually going to end up putting it all together into one. So if I'm repeating the sort of things that I would normally say at the start, I don't know why. I thought that was the slow one, but that comes later. But this feels like, yeah, like it's a whole different video, so... And to be fair, it is a new day, so... It made sense just to ask, how are you? 
how, why? Not how, I mean, I know, but it's more like me, brain, hello. So I was talking to a friend on how... Who'd commented on how expensive it was to grow. Or how expensive vegetables were and stuff. I guess, yeah, that's fair. Um, my dad had checked the shops last week, I think. Because we normally grow several vegetables and stuff in our garden and um, yeah he'd commented that all of the seeds had been sold out so I guess a lot of other people are thinking hey that might not be a bad idea and honestly I think it is not a bad idea I mean but I really wish they wouldn't go and buy the stuff that we were already planning to buy. <laughs> See how generous it is? Why? Why would I do that? Oh my gosh! Perhaps I need to be silent. As soon as I start thinking about wording, the braining stops happening. Spin. Yes. It's all spins. Why would I do something else? <sighs> that was a little close for comfort. Uh, I was too afraid of getting too much momentum. Alright. I think it's time for food. Let's see if I can pause this timer. I can pause the timer. I thought I could pause the recording as well. Guess not. Well, I took another break because I needed to go eat dinner. And through the magic of video editing, I'm back immediately for you. This timer is pretty much just a joke now, but... <laughs> In sort of a very rough order of magnitude kind of way, it still reflects how long I've been taking, so... I will continue using it. So at least visually there's no delay. And the audio doesn't feel like there's a delay anymore. Last checkpoint. <laughs> all right, all right. <clears throat> it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. I feel like that's given me a, a second wind, a boost. Probably a spin jump. I don't want to have to try to measure a regular jump if I can get away with it. I wonder if I put my aligners in wrong. I feel weird. Or maybe it's just because I had them out for too long this time. If you hadn't noticed, this is basically the first part of the level, or part of the first section. 
but backwards. All of the conveyors are now going in reverse. And that's made a lot of these jumps quite difficult. I don't know why, I'm not sure what about it exactly. I think it's that these, that when you're going right at the start, you're able to just, lots of the jumps are full jumps or they're just light taps. And you can pretty much hold right. Whereas the same jumps, but in reverse. You have to do a little more sort of momentum management in the air, I think. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. And there is actually a really simple way to sort of do it. Lots of these I'm having trouble managing my horizontal momentum, actually. The difference between attempts means not making it onto the... <clears throat> not making it all the way through my jump, or... Just going so far that I freaking... That was too quick for me to handle. See, that time I just overshoot the entire conveyor. Okay, I need to slow myself. I think it's important that I slow myself, that I try to land at the top of the conveyor. Yeah, my brain's getting confused between the jumps again. My hand hit both... both of the jump buttons then. And unfortunately, the wrong one came out. No! It's full jump. There's real concentration mode engaged now. Actually, I don't know whether it is. I have to make. I may have to rethink my decision on uh, continuing to do this for the rest of the. for the rest of Apollo's levels. Uh, Dumb Dog's levels. Look at me just casually referring to his name when he doesn't know me from a bar of soap. It's a very weird thing, isn't it? Watching... Watching YouTubers and watching streamers and stuff. There's a sort of very one... Like, one-sided or at least very uneven. No! There's this very uneven sort of... Uh, Interaction. Damn it. I am amazed. I even slowed down. I remembered I need to slow down. I still got myself killed. Now I'm getting these things where like false uh false button presses, that's not quite it, but like false um instincts are coming in saying jump. And I can feel it, I can tell that my hand is like primed, ready to push the wrong jump button. And there's another part of me as I'm hurtling towards the saw on this conveyor belt, thinking, no, it can't be that jump, it has to be a spin jump, otherwise you're going to die. Or vice versa in this case. I knew I had to do a full jump. But my index finger up there just said, no, 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 let me press the trigger. Oh, the bumper, I, I can do it. I guess the trigger would have done it too, huh? 
Now my hand is all kinds of confused. The thing that kills me most through this area, or that area, is the surprise of actually making the jump, or a jump. Um, no, not here. You motherfucker! That's, that's the end! I just needed to grab that vine. I think I was so fixated on the vine. That I didn't pay enough attention to my lining up to be able to jump at the uh, at the right moment there, because it's just like the start, going up a conveyor towards a saw blade at saw blade at the very end. It is in fact like the very first jump of this level. That's not it. That's it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I nearly killed myself. Trying to jump for the wrong vine. Yikes. I can't remember the button. Maybe that was meant to be a split. Whatever. So according to my timer, 2 hours, 21 minutes, plus some extra. This reckons that I took 90? That doesn't seem right. Oh wait, it doesn't count all of the first attempts before the first checkpoint, does it? I'm not sure how it works, but... I feel like I have achieved something. Woo! All right. Um, I don't know what to do with myself now. Um, I'm gonna wrap this one up. If you liked it, then please leave a like, or leave a comment, whatever you whatever you feel like, I guess. Um. I'm going to keep trying to do more of these levels as, as I go through. I'll decide whether I end up just giving myself an hour to do it or whether I'll repeat this and just do it till completion and then just try to trim the videos short. But also if you like this sort of thing you should really go check out the Checkpoint League on Dumb Dog's channel. I just like the thing, I like watching it, um, I like playing it. And I think, you know, credit where it's due. He's obviously spent a lot of time putting together something cool. Uh, you should take a look. Anyway, as for me, I'm going to play some Animal Crossing or something. And I will catch you guys later. <laughs>